Dunedin's first church spire rises above the cityscape. Currently, the ornate stone cross at its peak is surrounded by many tons of scaffolding. Bramwell Scaffolding is just one of the companies supplying heavy metal to tradespeople in the area. And speaking before our ascent, the company's CEO remembers the last time his team worked on this historic building. I wasn't quite as uh, involved as this, although I went all the way to the top. Uh, we've changed the process of what we've done here. Uh, this, this job has, um, for instance, on this side we've got a stair tower. Last time they had vertical ladders to climb up, which made it rather difficult for the stonemasons. We began our climb, one he's done many times before, and he streaked ahead. I got just over halfway up the 57 metre climb before my own fitness kicked in. Is that a razor here? It's out today, climbing, scaffolding, watching where I'm going, and I'm out of breath because I'm on the last step. Zzz. About four flights to go. On the journey, it was easy to see why the church is erecting the external structure, with many areas of the ageing masonry needing to be repaired. The view from the top is quite impressive, and not for someone with vertigo or a fear of heights. So some of the South Today team filmed Graham and I at the top from the comfort of their third floor office. Hi, Daryl Baser here for the South Today. I'm 54 metres up, right near the top of First Church's spire, standing on around 80 tonnes of scaffolding, which will be up for around four to six months. On our way down, Graham Evans points out some more areas of the historic Robert Lawson designed structure, which are due to be worked on. He agrees it's a big project, but says it isn't taking up much of their total stock. There's roughly um, 81 and a half tonnes of gear involved here, uh, and um, while it's a large project, it's probably only a couple of percent of our actual equipment. First Church was originally opened in 1873, and was for a time the tallest structure in the South Island, at 56.4 metres. First Church is remaining open during the work, and Graham Evans expects the scaffolding to surround it until the end of September. Darrell Baser, The South Today.